People say it's a compliment getter the very first second I wore it, I got a compliment. What's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do a review on this affordable fragrance of Lacoste Ohm. I actually think I got a tester of this for about $20. I think the normal price for this fragrance is around $30, $35. I'll put the link down below of how much I paid for it. It smells good. I don't really mind testers personally. This one was recommended by Chaos Fragrances. I was watching one of his top 10 fragrances uh, videos recently. Uh, he had some good things to say about it. I think he was making a comparison to Chanel Allure Ohm Edition Blanche, which I really, really liked. It's kind of like a special edition version of Chanel that a lot of people will find online and I really liked it as well I got a sample of it so I was kind of looking for more of that I kind of see a little bit of what he's talking about but this one to me really doesn't smell too much like edition blanche personally I get a tiny little bit of Dolce & Gabbana the one vibes a little bit but overall not really that same style scent this kind of is like an everyday easy to wear style scent you could kind of wear it in almost any situation it has a little bit of citruses and things like that so it's generally I guess for the day daytime and hotter heat a little bit. Some people were saying you could wear this for work and I totally agree with that. The notes are mandarin, rhubarb, ginger, sweet orange, quince, and almond. So that rhubarb and those quince, those are things I don't really see that much. This definitely has a little bit of a different style muskiness or a little something I'm not used to smelling in the backbone. Sometimes that, I guess it's rhubarb, kind of comes in more in the picture and sometimes it's more in the background. So let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros this fragrance is it's very cheap it's very easy to wear some people were saying online that it's not anything groundbreaking or anything that you haven't smelled before i kind of see that because it's generally a citrus style fragrance which has been way overdone but it definitely has a little bit of something else that i'm not used to smelling it doesn't smell like oh it's this dna or it's these two dnas and again dolce and gabbana it's a one it has a little bit of an orange a little bit of an orange muskiness to it sometimes depending on which batch you get and i get a little bit of that in here but it's over Overall, not really like the one and there's times where like I said sometimes it'll smell more like the one and then sometimes it'll smell almost like a musky peach citrus kind of vibe that's kind of what I get it's very cheap very affordable it's different and it's very easy to wear the cons there's not too too many cons with this one it's not groundbreaking but like I was saying it is a little bit unique it doesn't remind me of this DNA or that DNA it does a little bit of its own thing I would say the projection on this is average to slightly below average people say this is a monster compliment getter i forgot to put this in my pros but i sprayed this on the very first time i had some food delivered the delivery guy kept telling me how good i smell which i was kind of surprised because i just got this in the mail i was like spraying it up trying it out didn't really expect him to smell or anybody to smell and he was just saying man you smell bomb smell good i'm like Really? People say it's a compliment getter the very first second I wore it, I got a compliment. So it's not tried and true. Like I've got three, four, five compliments. I've gotten one, but I do definitely think it will be somewhat of a compliment getter. But back to the cons, slightly below average longevity and projection. And to be honest, that rhubarb or whatever kind of vibes in there, it's not my favorite style note. Like I said, there's times where I smell less of it and it smells very smooth and well-rounded. And sometimes when I smell just a little bit of it in the background, it smells okay. But when that musky weirdness comes to the forefront it's just really not my style of scent but overall I'm really kind of slightly impressed with this style of fragrance but it's not really my style of fragrance my like top fragrances I still will go with uh, Sauvage, Aventus, Elysium clones, Invictus those are my tried and true high heat fragrances for me personally it doesn't really replace those but this is a fragrance to where if you don't mind that rhubarb I'm not really sure if it's that rhubarb but it has this dark kind of like musky style vibe it's hard for me to put my finger on and like I was saying, when it maxes out, it's a little too much. I don't mind it in the background. It kind of gives it a little zest. Like I was saying, it comes in and out. If you don't mind that, you might think this fragrance is, is fantastic. And for some reason, like I was getting that compliment right off the bat, which doesn't happen with every fragrance. So I definitely want to put that one in there. If I was going to give this a smell rating. I'd probably give this a 7.5 to an 8. If that rhubarb didn't bother me, I'd give this a solid 8. Likeability, 7.5 to an 8. But I already got a compliment, so I'm putting the likeability to an 8. And then the, the longevity any projection 6.5 to 7 it is noticeable for a short period of time but then it does die down it's not one of those ones where it just you don't smell anything at all it does have a decent like level of longevity and projection if you spray a lot for maybe like an hour or two probably two hours at max but still it's a solid fragrance guys if you don't mind that rhubarb have you tried this fragrance have you tried any other lacoste fragrances i'll be very interested to see down below which fragrance should i try next this one's very very solid and it might be for you just for the fragrances I like I would say this one just barely misses the mark for me and I would be looking for something else but at the same time it's so 
close to being a good fragrance that I could see some people like. And let me know what you think of this video. Let me know what you think of this fragrance. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.